My, my concerns or my thoughts are really based around looking at uh, countries that were successful in, uh, in really addressing the pandemic quickly. And, uh, and if you look around the world, companies or sorry, countries like Canada with you know, strong basis for innovation, great academic centers, you know, good small and medium sized businesses and, you know, and some farm industry as well. Uh, you can see the countries that were successful, certainly the USA and the UK being great examples, uh, invested early and decisively and substantially in domestic vaccine development and domestic biotherapeutics manufacturing. And so while, it, you know, while there's a time lag, obviously, so, so on the vaccine development side, it's certainly, you know, and, and, and especially at the beginning, you know, there was, there was a lot of unknowns. There was certainly, there's, it's a risky business uh, developing novel biotherapeutics and vaccines. But again, you know, in, you know, thinking about the cost of this pandemic, uh, it was really a, a no lose situation, right? We have to get out of this. The impact has just been staggering. So, so decisive upfront investment in their vaccine development uh, capabilities uh, and really spreading around sort of the, the bets, for instance. So, so if you look at the warp speed program in the US, they invested heavily and upfront in eight vaccines uh, and basically funded them all the way from beginning to end. And we've now seen two of those vaccines uh, get to the end of phase three, so you know, really dramatic, uh, strong efficacy or activity. And so, and now we see the US manufacturing those vaccines and, and, and vaccinating their public. On the other side of things, the US and, and the UK invested heavily in vaccine manufacturing. And most importantly as well, you know, there's a lot of different vaccines. We've heard a lot about in this pandemic, mRNA vaccines or genetic vaccines. And, and, but there's also you know, more traditional vaccines. Novavax's vaccine is a protein vaccine. There are other vaccines that are based on adenovirus or a virus. So all of these require slightly different manufacturing capabilities. And we saw countries like the US investing in multiple platforms, really building up their, their domestic capacity for manufacturing uh, vaccine candidates, not knowing at the beginning which one would be successful.